Good morning, South. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance with South Valedictorian Salutatorian. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll hear more from them later in the show. Good morning once again and welcome to the FACO Report for this Friday the 19th of May, a day two. I'm Isada Opom. And I'm Alexi Peets. Last week's weather report failed to mention the turbulent showers of volleyballs in the gym last Friday. With a scoop on last week's senior high volleyball tournament, we turn to Aiden Ashby. I'm here where the senior high volleyball tournament has just spiked into high gear. Excitement filled the air as students gathered around for the annual volleyball tournament. Following ninth period, sophomores, juniors, and seniors met with their teams and prepared for what would turn out to be a fierce competition. Using a sequence of bumps, sets, and spikes, the various teams such as the Hot Shots, the Sweepers, and the Tickle Monsters battled it out on the court. The tension grew as the competition shrank, and finally only two teams remained in an epic competition between the Six-Headed Goat and the Sweepers. After an afternoon of fun-filled and lively games, a victor was crowned, Six-Headed Goat. You know, it was a team effort. Couldn't thank y'all enough. Yep. Thank you for everyone who showed. You know, we had a big couple of games. It was fun. All in all, the event proved to be pleasurable and entertaining for all participants. For the Falcon Report, I'm Aiden Ashby. The Cultural Society hosted its annual ping pong tournament this past Tuesday. Once the tournament began, Cultural Society officers were tasked with keeping score and finding straight ping pong balls while also participating in the games themselves. The competition was a bracket style event in which students could play against each other with the hope of making their way to the top by beating their opponents. Additionally, there were exhibition matches where people could play for fun and create their own rules. Close competition and epic match matches would only allow for one winner. However, with sophomore Samar Bidi being crowned this year's champion. Junior Jonathan Dewey came in second place. Junior Kenny Lee in third. And sophomore Cedrice Bramble in fourth. All attendees enjoyed the spirit of competition and the time spent playing ping pong with friends. Just last Friday, South Hall was full of lucky winners at the annual Supermarket Sweeps event. A benefit for the PTSA, the event invited all Valley Stream community members engage in a variety of fun games, including regular and specialized bingo to win grocery items. Mr. Lipsky, along with student volunteers, guided the players in the rules of the game and announced the bingo numbers. <laughs> Raffles were also offered with prizes that were sponsored by local businesses ranging from gift cards to restaurants to free music lessons. Contestants also entered separate raffles to win special baskets with larger prizes. Refreshments were served towards the end of the event, which lasted over four hours. A night of bingo and prize winning fun it was indeed, and at the PTSA's Supermarket Suite. South High's ranking seniors Stephen Huang and Ibrahim Kadri were named valedictorian to Ludatorian earlier this year. As commencement nears, we'll turn to Emily Nothrop to hear what they have to say about their years at South. Emily? I'm joined now with Stephen Huang and Ibrahim Kadri. So, how did it feel to accomplish this? I think for me it felt really surreal starting out in 7th grade, non-accelerated, and working my way up. It really is a truly full circle moment for me, so yeah. So this is an achievement that I've always been wanting to have, um, but to be honest, when Miss Henry announced it, I was absent. So just, but even though I was absent, I got so many text messages from my friends. They're like, oh my God, Miss Henry just announced that you were salutatorian. So in that, in the moment, it was, like Steven said, it was a surreal experience. So how did you get here? So for me, it was the amazing support system we he have here at South, um, from the amazing friends to these like trusted teachers who go above and beyond. Um, I truly couldn't have done it without them, and I know that's cliche to say, but I know it's true at the end. Yeah, and similar to Steven, I had a really big support system within my family. They kept on encouraging me to just do well, do your best. So what advice would you give to younger students? The advice I have is to really take initiative, go out, join these clubs, um, take those risks and put yourself out there, but also start building these connections you have with friends, especially with teachers, because when it comes to the college application process, they're really going to be the ones that are going to help you out in this. Um, I would also say that while grades are very important in the college application process, don't make it the center of your life because that's going to lead to stress and you don't want to do that. Have fun. That's the most important thing. Have fun. Enjoy your years at South. And what are your plans for the future? So in the fall, I'll be enrolled into Columbia University, majoring in biology on the pre-med track, uh, but I'll, I'll also be pursuing a minor in political science and psychology. 
So I'm going to be a couple blocks away from Steven, so I'm pretty sure he's going to enjoy that. I'm going to be at Sophie Davis studying biomedical education, and I'm going to do a little bit of computer programming on the side. Well, congratulations, and thank you so much for joining us. Back to you in the studio. As one of South Falcons, Ibrahim Qadri has also flown all the way to Dallas, Texas to compete in the International Science and Engineering Fair. When the Falcon Report returns, we'll talk much more about the Senior High Concert, but first, a bird's eye view of his time at the fair. In a world where field day is the most important day of the year. We lost field day so bad last year. I know, we lost to the ninth graders. But we're ninth graders now. We're gonna win this this time. So these ninth graders think they're gonna win, right? Only one team will come out victorious. Let field day begin. Hey Mads, remember when I beat you in 7th grade? No. The 7th grade mixer. I remember the 7th grade mixer. I don't remember you beating me. In fact, I remember beating you. Yeah, right. I was taller than you. Being tall means nothing. And besides, I was taller than you. Was not! Guys, guys, forget about 7th grade. Let's have a senior remix. You're on, little man. This Monday, South Senior High Orchestra Band and Chorus held their annual spring concerts. To hear more about this musical night, we turn to Aiden Dombrowski. That's right. South Hall was the site of some beautiful music this Monday. Students arrived early to ensure that their instruments were tuned and ready for the performances, while family and friends shuffled into South Hall. The 9th and 10th grade chorus, directed by Mrs. Stefano, began the night with songs including You Will Be Found from the Broadway musical Dear Evan Hansen and The Rhythm of Life. Directed by Ms. Clampkin, the orchestra followed with international selections from a musical passport and concluded their performance with some Mozart and even ABBA with selections from Mamma Mia. The 11th and 12th grade chorus then made their way onto the risers and, with orchestra still on stage, the groups performed Handel's Hallelujah together, resuming the beloved tradition that was put to a pause due to the pandemic. With the orchestra exiting, the chorus remained on the risers, highlighting Wade in the Water and A Million Dreams from the film The Greatest Showman. Finally, under the direction of Mr. Cregan, the band performed the rollicking march, They're Off, and medleys from the uber popular bands Smash Mouth and Journey. Overall, South's musicians truly put on a spectacular concert. For the Falcon Report, I'm Aiden Dombrowski. This Tuesday, students of all grades gathered in the art hallway to paint coffee creations of their choosing. Mr. Bio, Dr. Haddock, and Ms. Pedicus welcomed the artists and encouraged them to grab paintbrushes and coffee-based paint to start things off. <laughs> Students then got to work making their coffee-inspired art pieces, featuring coffee beans, dishware, and even coffee creatures, with the advisors even eventually getting in on the fun too. The artists waited for their paint creations to dry as the relaxing Tuesday afternoon came to an end. <laughs> this far into May, I'm really hoping this weekend's forecast can give us a little glimpse of that summery sun I've been craving. Don't get too excited, Isada. Let's turn to Alex Mezzer with the weather before we jump to conclusions. Alex? Thanks, guys. This weekend's weather will surely bring some certainty to our summer dreams. Today will be a, a bit breezy and we'll have mostly sunny skies and a high of 66 is perfect weather for tonight's junior dinner. Those dancing shoes won't stay dry for long as tomorrow brings a high chance of rain with a high of 65 degrees. For Sunday, we'll return to clear skies and a high of 73, a possible start to a summer weather trend. Bring out those shades, Self. Back to you in the studio. Senior Day put a huge exclamation point on the girls' softball team season. To hear more about their big day and senior celebrations, we bring in the Falco Report's Jackson Hunter. Jackson? Don't tell our softball team batting order only has nine batters. The Falcons honored 13 seniors at their senior day last Sunday. That's a team and a half. Then it seemed all 13 of them scored runs. 
contributions came up, up and down the lineup. Senior Sarah Rizzo had 11 strikeouts in the pitcher's circle. At the plate, she went 2 for 2 with a 2 RBI triple. Trinity Smiley went 3 for 3 with 3 runs batted in. Christina Barcolas hit an RBI double. The score was 4-3 going on to, into the bottom of the third inning. Coming out of this hit, it was 19-3 South. It was an excellent send-off for the seniors and a win for the Falcons. And that's sports. That's all for this edition of the Falcon Report. For Lexi Pizza, I'm Isato Palm. Have a great weekend, South. You know next week is the senior remix, right? You know who's going to win. Forrest. We've been new. Oh!